So I tried to record this several times and it didn't work out. So I'm going to speak fast. Maybe a, a shorter version of what I wanted to say is um, more adequate. Anyway, so I wanted to talk a little bit about my immunotherapy on Thursday. Thursday I went in for my um, second transfusion and um, <clears throat> I met with a PA and I came with my questions. I wanted to see if that BRAF tumor marker had come in and then also I was curious about um, LDH levels. And so I presented my questions and then the PA couldn't find very substantial um, information in my chart and he kind of had to take some time. So I went into what I thought would be kind of a quiet, relaxing immunotherapy um, by myself because unfortunately I kind of um, dogged Darren's plan for me. He had wanted me to um, have someone drive me there and a couple of ladies pick me up and even though I love them, I don't really like putting everyone out and that's kind of what I thought. I just thought, you know, I can drive myself and the nurse said that I could and so I canceled everything and just drove and sorry Darren, I love you. But uh, I know he feels a lot of guilt about not being there, and it's okay. I was kind of looking forward to some solitude, but it didn't work out that way because the PA had to keep coming in, and the nurse came in, and the volunteer came in, and then the nurse who was delivering the immunotherapy came in. and um, So it wasn't very, very relaxing. However, um, new information had been um, had come to the surface. Apparently we've been talking about this BRAF marker, but that's the extent of it that we've just been talking about it. And so what we were waiting for is for us to know if it was there because the marker would be substantial when it comes to uh, treatment options. And <clears throat> uh, it actually turns out that nobody actually issued a order for a BRAF. So this PA started looking into it, found that out, and uh, had to track down uh, the lymph node biopsy since it was the largest. Apparently there's this mass freezer of all strange body parts. And so that's where my lymph node is and that he now has a BRAF ordered for me. So in not, so next Monday I think is the day that um, we should get information back on that. However, um, I didn't get very good information from my friend in Nashville. I don't even know her name, but she did email me her situation. She said mutations are very, very rare in um, melanoma. So she had seven slight mutations, but nothing significant enough to have a, have a treatment option for it. Um, so there's that. And then the second part of it is he did run the LDH levels. And remember it was 803 and normal is up like 99 to 198 or something. Well, turns out that um, it is down to 183 and I got really excited and I was like, well, that's something, right? And he looked at me like, uh, don't get excited. Uh, immunotherapy does all kinds of things to mess with these numbers and it's not very indicative of anything. So there's that. And then um, the liver biopsy, I mean the liver was elevated. The numbers were elevated the last time I had blood work, but this time they were back down. So I thought that was a good sign maybe. Uh, and then this time around, last time I had a lot of symptoms and I was really sick and they were kind of following me closely because of that. And I decided that partially that could have been the fact that I'd had so many couple of surgeries and procedures and all kinds of stuff dumped into my veins and so compounding general anesthesia a few times and unconscious sedation and uh, CT uh, fluid in my veins and then immunotherapy I think that all just compounded together to create one massive reaction and and then going out to the Mayo Clinic so this time around it's I feeling I'm feeling very fortunate um, in the fact that I've just been tired, but I've had the energy to do laundry and cut all the boys' hair and get things done the the way I, I like to. I still don't know about work. I feel terrible, but I don't want to put them out and be so um, uncertain as to how I feel and whether or not something is going to come up or happen. Or I just feel like a, a wild card when 
and I feel wimpy because I know people who work through their their cancer diagnosis and everything. I just don't know. I just don't know if, if these were my last days, how I would want to spend them. I don't think it would be just to go to work. I'd rather be with my kids. Anyway, so that's kind of the update from immunotherapy from the last Thursday.